What's going on everyone? Rob here. This video is going to be on the Vivid Storm UST ALR CLR fluorizing screen. Uh, this is just a quick unboxing uh, video and um, it will get into other content, but please, please watch to the end. It's uh, such great content and it's with, used with two different projectors in two different locations. So the two projectors used in this video are the 4 Movie Theater and the Epson LS800. And again, it's in two different locations. So, you know, also a lot of future content coming with this screen. Um, I absolutely love the screen and played it so far for family and friends. And they actually absolutely love the screen too. So a lot of future content coming with this screen. I can't wait to show everybody. But just um, please watch to the end. And um, again, you know, everybody can uh, see what the screen's about. And um, here you go. So here is the IR receiver, and then there's the power cord socket, the power switch, and screen manual switch. Uh, more coming on that soon. Also, how to adjust the screen um, with the tools for the uh, actual picture on the screen to the projector. So that's coming up soon. So here's some of the accessories it comes with besides the screen itself and the power cord. Uh, this is a RF remote. It comes with the uh, actual housing for it, so you can mount it on the wall if you want. It comes with the screws right there. Uh, this is an IR remote. It comes with the housing, same thing, and basically with mounting screws right there. This thing's really cool. This is the USB dongle, um, and basically you plug it in the back of the projector, and when you turn the projector on, the screen goes up. When you turn the projector off, the screen goes back down, and this is the power light basically staying there's power to it. It's really cool. This thing's great if you want to use it. Uh, this tool I'll be demonstrating uh, coming up in future videos. Basically, you stick it on the left side, the power side, the drive side of the screen, and you put it, slide it right in the hole, and you turn it, and uh, basically it um, allows you to adjust the screen to where the projector is. So, you know, if you don't want to do it this way, you could do it another way too. With the actual um, screen, you could push up and down on the uh, button, up and down. And this is a soft version of it. So if you want to do that, bend a little bit more. If this is a cleaning brush, came with, it's nice. So basically you just, um, if there's any like dust or debris on it, you could just lightly wipe it off and it works great. And these are just uh, little sticky tabs. If you get some debris that's stuck on there, you take the little sticky tab and you put it on there and it pulls it right off. So this is the accessories and here's more video. Here's the uh, Vivid Storm fluorizing screen by itself. Uh, here's the back part of the screen. And here's the RF remote. I'm gonna put the screen up uh, with the four movie theater laser TV uh, projector actually playing. Um, it takes about 20 some seconds for the screen to rise. Uh, as you can see, my room is extremely bright. Um, I have white, lighter walls, um, all the blinds, everything is open, and it's just an extreme lighting situation. Um, as with the TV on the back wall, it would have a hard time playing because you would have a lot of reflection on the screen from how much lighting is coming in the room. So here's a little movie clip with the Epson LS800 uh, laser TV projector. And we'll go into the demo. Um, basically, this is running on medium brightness on the Epson LS800 projector in dynamic mode. So dynamic mode, medium brightness at 2,638 lumens. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, this projector actually goes up to 4,100 lumens. And it's mind-blowing. So at 2,638 lumens, it's producing extremely well. 
Um, coming up soon, I'll show you uh, a little demo part two that goes from dynamic mode into cinema mode and cinema mode at 1311 lumens at medium brightness looks absolutely amazing too so just keep watching please watch to the end and again future videos coming i can't wait to show you more on the screen and the projectors you can't go wrong with these two projectors two best projectors of 2023 i'll and uh, just keep watching. So a little bit more about the Vivid Storm screen. Um, it's absolutely uh, almost perfect in any situation. Lights on, lights off. As you can see here, all the blinds are open and bright, sunshiny day. And still looks amazing. Um, this is a 0 0.6 gain screen. It gives you 170 degree angle view, which is amazing. Um, it's an easy, easy plug and play system. So when you unbox it, it's just plug and play, set it up where you want fast, easy setup. It's, it's great space saving design. So it's absolutely amazing. Also, um, you can mount this on the ceiling. If you want to, you have to buy mounting brackets. So I'll put it in the link for the mounting brackets and here's the video continuing. This is just a little demo showing um, from a sofa point of view, front view. Um, I have it on a tripod right now, my camera, but it's just basically, uh, again, this is in dynamic mode at 2,638 lumens of medium brightness. Um, upcoming is going to be on the uh, lowering it from dynamic mode to cinema mode, and that's coming very soon. So here's part of the demo where I put it from dynamic mode in the Epson LS800 uh, laser TV projector into cinema mode. So dynamic mode was at 2638 lumens at medium brightness and now cinema mode, what you're seeing right here at medium brightness is running at 1311 lumens. Absolutely amazing, still producing an amazing image and with all the ambient lighting in the room. And please keep watching. So this is the four movie theater laser TV projector with the vivid storm fluorizing ALR CLR screen. Uh, this is in my in-laws house. Uh, this is their large, large living room. Um, lots of lighting coming in. I'll show different angle views. Uh, so you can get a perspective. So this is another location with the screen and the projector. Again, a lot of future content coming to show you what the screen and other UST projectors can do. Um, I'll be getting my hands on other UST projectors too for future reference and uh, showing different things. So there's also a little movie clip coming up of Meg 2 just to kind of give you a perspective of the movie with lots of ambient light in the room. Uh, we watched it around six o'clock and it was bright sunshiny. So a uh, day and it'll give you a perspective of watching movies and other things um, in the room. So here you go. So here's the Meg 2 uh, little clip. I just wanted to keep it short for copyright reasons. Um, just showing with a lot of ambient light, we're actually watching a movie with a lot of light in the room. So um, if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And um, I'm here to help you out uh, get into projection and screens. And uh, please like my uh, videos and please subscribe. And everybody have a nice day and happy projecting.